Paladins Console League. My name is Pretty Hair. That's Gore Miser. We're the guys in gray, and we're here to bring you the rest of the day. I'm excited for it. We've got all of the console games, and so one Long down. Day today, yeah. Seven to go with the way things are what set up. What did we do last time? It was, we just uh, did PS4 that first week, yes. right? Because we only had PS4. But how many of those Xbox matches? Did we only do two of those? We did four. We did four that day? Yeah, four sets. So it's really not any different than we've done before, right? We've just never no. had Xbox. Yeah. Or had console <laughs> league as a whole. We're just being able to push it on there. This is going to be our first full day through all four Xbox matchups, all four PS4 matchups. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and get into our next one. We've already seen OTP uh, versus Radiant Esports. Now it's going to be Vexed versus Zimmerframe up next. And Vexed is a team. They've had some success, I think, overall, but never quite reaching that, that top F echelon. Yeah, if you are looking for the team to beat, I would say when it comes to Europe right now. I think Vex is the one because they're the ones that continually make it to LAN. Yeah. It's never the performance they want when they're at LAN, but as long right. as they can take those steps to get here, I think, again, you're the team. they're the team to beat for everyone else that's going to be facing them. Yeah, so this could be over fairly quickly or you could see a fight put up. In yeah. it. This is similar to what we've been able to watch in the PGS with the format changes. These teams with a bit more consistency, maybe they get to know each other a little bit more intimately. They get to play each other week in, week out. Two times each for the round robin format. By the time it's all said and done, Vexed will ban away Fish Market. Zimmerframe is going to ban out Jaguar Falls. All they need is a little bit of a setup. Serpent Beach is a good map to start things off, but not too outlandish. I feel like a yeah. lot of teams are comfortable with this map, so I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to approach their picks and bans, specifically for Vexed having to deal with them. At least, well, I mean, Zimmerframe having to deal with Vexed. And there goes Koga once again. Yeah. But I think that's going to be uh, the story of today. You know, different bands this time around. A little bit less frontline centric and more blaster centric from Vex right Hello, out of the, the game. Dragon. They love their Drogos. They're the only one that's going to grab it. And maybe this is, is part of their, their strategy, right? Make sure that they are the only blaster. <laughs> and these are, these, and even Bomb King, right? He toes that line. He's not really the uh, the big AoE shoot the ground and, you know, get your damage done like yeah. Willow and Drogos can be. He's more in line, I think, with the Eevees, where you know you got a direct impact. You got to hit your shots actually to still get your damage. They're categorized as a different damage source, but at the end of the day, you got to hit them. They leave it up, and I feel like that was Vex strategy, looking at the way they just go through their bands. They want that oh, wow. blaster, but you leave Mako open, which is going to be something I think a little bit scary. Torvald, maybe with Androxus, I feel like that combo is probably not as prevalent as it comes down to on console. Again, Androxus is best when you hit headshots very consistently and can kind of keep himself safe. And we were talking about it earlier. The kind of dash into the back line, get a couple shots off, dash out, is not as prevalent on console as we see in other regions yeah. and areas. Whooping around can be difficult. Or just, you know, a little bit too slow at the end of the day. Fernando Furia comes through for Zimmer Frame. We'll have to see if the strategy pays off for Vex. I like, uh, I like the idea. Zin seems like I guess he's still popular here on console, and especially with the Torvald, they could grab a Genos for themselves or the Maldon, but a double down on the Inara healing. I think maybe you don't need a double dip with the with the damage amp. What do you think with uh, having Torvald and Genos? Yeah, I think you're comfortable if you just have one or the other, and I feel like Torvald fills that role a little better for me because once when you go for Genos, like I feel like you need another support because he's just not going to have mm. the burst heal, especially when you're up against someone like Furia. Like if Drogos takes a little bit of poke versus Cassie. Cassie gets a full heal, Drogos has to fall back. Wow. Like It's just one of those instances where having someone like a Maldamba behind you is much better. So despite seeing all of that, Zimmerframe are going to pick the Knesset right on into Vexed. You know, the Drogos maybe struggles with it a little bit. I yeah. think Drogos has that benefit of, you know, the fire spit. Consistent damage around line of sight breaks. So he can kind of just stay out of harm's way until she dies. And there is a Zin Torvald on Vexed Gaming's lineup. So I feel like... Kinesa dying is really only a matter of time. Yeah, there's, I don't know, there's so much that I feel like she could accomplish if she gets that headshot. Like, to open up the fight, but at the same time, I feel like it's such a high execution threshold. Yeah. Fluxy is going to have a lot of work to make sure those hit. And, I mean, you're going up against players that not only, again, have gone to LAN, but have played together in either the console series or now the console league for so long. I mean, World E, Lexi Zen, Slopadopolis, Welsh Mania, a lot of people who at this point the can kind of sleep and still play the game at a high level. Like, they are just <laughs> insanely good. 
So here it is, Vex Gaming squaring off against Zimmer Frame. Sibs EU here on the Cassie. Look at the patience coming out from the Cassie player, waiting in the wings for that moment. Anara's hooked off the objective. Fire Spit lands onto one target. Cassie has an angle onto Drogos here. But at the end of the day, it's still Vex Gaming in control. Gormizer, they're starting to get map control as well. They are on the enemy team's high ground. Welsh Mania is at this point just trying Ooh. to figure out where he wants to go, if he wants to get into the background. Again, being able to get to the Knesset is probably exactly his playbook, but he doesn't really need it if he can find a couple of pieces along the way. Cassie going to be the first one to go down, but Fernando is just as on the chopping block as she was. Ooh, fireball right to the face. Hamish able to take down Welsh Mania. Now he's headed to the objective. Laying in the heat onto Inara, but early game with a Torval backing her up, Maldamba backing her up, Earthen Guard was up as well, Slopadopoulos is in no danger there. Vex Gaming grabbed the first payload of the game. I believe that was actually a headshot that connected there, but it still wasn't enough to bring Inara down. She was there the entire time. And Slopadopoulos plays that angle really well because he knows where Kinesa has to stand to get vision on the point, and right. he knows where his team is kind of forcing her to be. And so he would just float around the left-hand side of the control point to make sure that he was just out of range. So she would have to get a little bit too aggressive in order to try and get the shot off on him. So he was just able to stand there and be comfortable. Oh my goodness, Ooh. now Welsh Mania, he's popping off a little bit. Nobody's really looking at him, making almost for the triple kill. He hits the spray, he didn't grab the last hit, but at the end of the day, Vex Gaming running the floor here. And Welsh Mania is just more than happy to dance with Cassie. <laughs> Ducking shot after shot here, 140 on the clock. Welsh Mania continuing to find frags with Torvald backing him up. And this is looking very, very solid for Vex Gaming. And you know he's going for the style points because that entire time he was ducking and weaving, he was never firing back. He was just chilling yeah. for a little bit as he waited for his team. Now, of course, he stepped right back into it. And it's looking like it's going to be a tough defense. I mean, a minute and 20, the payload's right here. And a couple more kills right wow. now still coming out for Vex. Furia very boldly rings of wrath onto the objective. Eats a fire spit directly in the process, so she prevents it from exploding. Jumping on the grenade, so to speak. But at the end of the day, the outcome is the same. Vex Gaming will push it all the way through. They spent a couple ultimates to get it there. Zimmer Frame have almost everything available to them. However, there is a Dragon Punch online, and that is a massive game changer, especially for Makoas. You have to worry about the Ancient Rages coming through. Here we just see Welsh Mania. I was about to make fun of him for uh, for not whirling into that. You know what I mean? Especially if you have a little bit of wildfire in your yeah, loadout. You want uh, you want to rip those worlds. You want to become the Beyblade. <laughs> I am. I want. I don't even think you could possibly do a Beyblade skin. I'm trying to think of how you would get that to work, where it's like Three, during Whirl two. you become a Beyblade, well, but what show, would you be otherwise? They had like the, the the Beyblade show. They had like the basically Pokemon trainers of Beyblade. Yeah. Am I right? Damn so man. maybe I don't know. Maybe he's a Beyblade trainer. And I will say I don't remember much about the show other than I the don't fact either. that like a dragon, <laughs> like they would throw him into the arena and like dragons or something would come out of the blade to fight. And uh, it was never that exciting in real life. You were just playing with tops that yeah. would hit each other. They had some spikes on the side. Violent tops. <laughs> now to the back lines in, trying to get the pressure on the Knesset, but Fluxy does a good job sort of just counter-rotating, staying away from the pressure. And the front line from Vex Gaming falls early on. Drogos first, then Anara second. Koa looking for the hook onto the high ground. They don't have a lot of time to work with. I think this Dragon Punch comes in too late. Yep. Far too late there from World at it. And, you know, this is a team that you expect to know those timings by now. You know what I mean? With, with the comeback mechanic in play, sometimes, you know, you get a little bit more leeway there. But you got you to gotta realize and recognize, I think, when it's time to move, when you got to get in there. If you want to contest this, that you need to go a little bit quicker. And I gotta say, a lot of this has been opened up by Fluxy, being able to get a couple of real good shots off early in the round, and then just being able to follow up with that same performance. Once you get, I mean, Makoa, Fernando, Furia, as long as you can put one of those two on the point and have them backed up by the healer, you're gonna be pretty much set as long as your DPS still has that impact. And so far between Man. the two of them, Cassie, Kinesa have been doing pretty well. Absolutely. 140 on the clock now. So find the defense here. The defensive point still on the board for Vex Gaming. If they hold this payload and Zimmer Frame fail, it's going to be a 3-1 lead. We'll be basically back to where we started this round. That combustible knockback almost good for a kill out right on the Cassie. She pops the scout just to make sure, I think, that there's no pressure coming to follow up on that poke damage. 
looking to try and hold this top angle. I don't know if there's many people other than Kinesa the world that it needs to be worried about coming up here, but that is exactly who he's looking to try and have a boxing fight with. And that 2400, I mean, Drogo's right now is at that perfect threshold to be one shot. If he was at 2450, Ooh. it would be just outside of that range. Kinesa would still have to spin that shot, but he has to be worried about it. I don't know, Welshmania. He looks like he could go in on the back line here, but he backs off. Slopadopoulos will finish what he started. And I think Welshmania, maybe just a little bit more of a, a disciplined Zen player than I am. He's really careful about when he engages, when he elects to back off. And honestly, he's got himself a really good KD for it. Being able to come through, big booty soul. Getting taken down there. Makoa <laughs> going to end up getting eradicated. Vex moving forward to try and just regain some of the, the lost ground. Yeah. But even if they can get this defense, 30 seconds, so there's still plenty of time for Zimmer frame, but. I mean, even if you get the defense, you give Zimmer frame back that comeback again. The same thing that really caused you trouble here. And again, like you had said, remaining. it kind of felt as though they weren't sure of the timing on it. Ten, right, they definitely nine, weren't. I mean, if there eight, wasn't comeback mechanic seven, in play, they would have been fine. Six, but like I said, five, this is a team that's four, experienced enough three, to where they, they two, need to be aware of that. They need one. to be aware of the difference in time a lot. And they will hold the defense very, very uh, stalwartly, I must admit, as well. These are the types of angles that when they're connecting. And, you know, you gave Fluxy a lot of credit, and I think that's, you know, credit where credit's due. He did a good job sort of counter-rotating that pressure from Zinn. And that was a lot of where his positioning was. At the beginning of the round, I think he got a couple of good shots. And as you can see, he only got two kills overall. So it wasn't an ecstatic round for him. But it was really the pressure that he was able to apply. Him and Sibs being able to just kind of take those counter, or not even counter angles, but just being able to get up and either distract or force World at it, Welsh Mania, into positions that they just weren't able to have that impact that they had in round number one on. So Welsh Mania picks up the morale boost here. And he was Yomi, if I'm not mistaken. Can we take a quick, quick little look at the, the legendaries one more time? Luxy here is going to continue to pressure out the objective, though. It is actually a guillotine there for Welsh Mania, so it makes sense. It feels like he's playing with the Yomi. I mean, he's got so much room to work with. He's got the damage in from Torvo as well. That looks like a great Dread Serpent, though, Gormizer. It hits three. It's a beautiful fire spin to follow it up. World Edit has the world as his feet. He's going to go ham with this team fight now. He's got only 50, well, 68 and climbing now on the Dragon Punch. He hits a massive salvo to get plenty of uh, ultimate charge there. A couple of rockets on the Fluxy as well. And that looks like it about does it. Vex Gaming with their ultimates in hand and a beautiful Dread Serpent there. <laughs> My goodness. Can't be any easier than that. I mean, it provided so much. Not only because it hit three people, but like, if you saw in the billow, Zen comes running through. Welsh Mania's like, all <laughs> hey. I need is a little bit of heal. It gets a little bit of the spirits, you know, the, the right click off yeah. of Aldama, get that heal. Just enough to stay alive and come through. And at that point, everyone CC'd. Then they all get knocked back. You're Zen. You're like, man, this is like it's a battlefield around yeah. me. I don't care. I think at that point, once the fire spit connects as well, it's sort of just incites panic. Yeah. I think everyone at that point has no intentions of fighting. Everyone's just running for their lives, and all of their lives were still claimed at the end of the day by Vex. That's the first game off the board. We'll have to see if they can bring it back here in the second map. We'll see where exactly that is. Each team gets that map pick, and then if we do go to the best of three, which we already have today, yeah. it just becomes loser's pick to see who's able to stabilize it out. By the end of it all, Frog Isle is where we will head. And now this is, Evan and I talked about this a little bit earlier in the first set where snipers are gonna be higher priority bans here. And I think Koga is gonna be a lower priority overall because I don't think really any flanks yeah. succeed super hard on Frog Isle. It's pretty tough to pull them off. So if we see Koga, I think it's gonna be here. I mean, I think the one that was top on the list that I feel like was big for a while on Frog Isle was Eevee. Yeah. But even then, it's very difficult to execute. You have to be a phenomenal EV player in the first place right. to make that work and feel comfortable. No. And then you add in the fact that you're Come looking on, at snipers bro. coming at you. It's going to make it very difficult. <sighs> this was perfect, man. This was it. Vex were the team that I think are experienced enough to debate Zimmer frame into picking Koga first and having everything they need to work around him. But it's not going to be the case. Maybe part of that is snipers just... Maybe not as high priority on console on Frog Isle than they are on PC. And with the way things have been, I mean, Zimmerframe have run Kinesa. 
but I feel like Vex have been able to lean more into like their blaster play in the past. I don't yeah. feel like they're the go-to snipers. I'd be interested to see them run it, and they will have the Knessa, but it's one of those things that every now and then you get this player who's like, you know, this is my Knessa game. This is when it's going to happen, and then they are not there for the entirety of the match. They have no impact. I'm curious to see if Vex can do a little bit more than what we saw out of it last game. Goes down to reporting. And they're going to go tip for tat here, scope for scope. Strix and Knessa picked up. Albeit just a little bit later in the draft. About who's going to be able to pressure out the other better, though? No Drogos, no Fire Spits coming over the wall. No funny business there. There's going to be the Grover Axes. There's going to be the Barrages. The Grenade is a, it's a decent replacement for a Fire Spit, I think. Yeah, and honestly, if you can place it properly, and I think Frog Isle is a good map for this, to be able to run something, if you run a burst mode or anything, you have that nice hit scan presence to be able to pr provide pressure onto like Grover, Strix, Cassie here. But that grenade is the unsung damage. There was actually a point, I think it was two weeks ago in console, that you see a bunch of people buying Haven because they're like, well, Victor's the one dealing damage to us, so we need to get Haven. But you really needed the blast shield because it was all in the grenade that he was getting that. It's just a big burst, and then you follow it up. But because it was always the rifle getting the kill, you immediately assume that's where the issue would be. Killer G39, Efflorescence, Impulse, Mother's Grace, Unauthorized Use, Scorch, a little bit of Burst Mode, a little bit of Cherish, Leviathan, Royal Subjects, Eagle Eye. Those are the talent selections here. A couple of Cauterizes for either squad as we load in, and a Wrecker is actually the choice for Welsh Mania. Okay. So I think he expects, and rightfully so, Fluxy to be in his face on this Fernando and expect that he's going to have to contribute. And you know, Wrecker scales percentage base. When you start at 1,200, you can climb up there pretty good, and that is just, that was the saddest grenade I've ever seen in my life. It landed, and it stayed Hit the staircase right at the bottom of the and stairs. Then he's first blood. And, and Man, that was a really, really sad tale for Slopidopolis. And to come off the front line onto Victor to do that? I don't know. I think I'm putting him back on an Aura. And at this point, I mean, not only do you get that big of a switch up, that big of a, just a flop, but now look at Vexed. I mean, a team that was in complete control during the, like, uh, pretty much entire they, duration of last game. Goofed it, Gora. They goofed it there. Man, and Aura gets stunned out by the beam from Furia. And I believe the headshot connects from Knesset because Anara takes a massive chunk of damage. Sibzy U ekes out the double kill, almost the triple, onto the Makoa, and I think he just may have saved Zimmerframe's life. There's the shot. I was wondering if that was going to come through. And uh, another big swing. We've got Makoa to Strix. Not exactly the same style champion yeah. when it comes down to it. But as long as you hit these headshots, that's going to be the difference maker. I mean, it's so funny. Oh. Big booty soul. Making us wonder why he was ever on the front line in the first place. So far, so good behind the scope of Strix. He'll miss that one, but it would have been absorbed by a Torvald bubble. Anyway, a couple of shots from World Edit Landing. The unauthorized use flare connects, and that's you know a good chunk of damage there. World that it not afraid to get aggressive, not afraid to come up over the top, grab two of his own, put the foot down, and say Vex Gaming is not out of this one yet. And that's one of the weaknesses of having any kind of stealth in your kit is that a blaster doesn't really care. They just need to be in the ballpark as long as they know that you're in this area, they're going to be able to lock you down. But this looks like we're Vex could start finding a hold. I mean, so far Victor has just kind of been run in, die, run out. Zapadopoulos needs to have a little bit more of just Enemy a big round, three. some damage, some shots, times that he's spent alive and pushing as opposed to falling back. And I'm wondering if that's going to make, I mean, just the big difference in that one effect. I have to see. X Gaming looking pretty good on the defense here so far. There's a couple of ultimates that disengage. It's good enough. Sibzy you. Looking pretty damn good on the Cassie so far. Lexi from downtown. A little bit of help from Knesso. I said so Knesso with a little bit of help from Furia there to take down Nara. Another disengage almost knocks Makoa. People got to be careful around these ledges. Sibs is really letting them have it when it comes to the disengage. Being able to hold this angle is going to be big there. Again, Victor just spending time running back. Sibs finally going to go down, though. Now he had to deal with the front line. It's not going to be too big of an issue, but it just feels like I see the DPS constantly trying to push maybe too far ahead and then falling back on the side of Vex. All I need is World Edit and this Knessa to just hit a couple more shots, be completely clean, and make up for, I guess, kind of not necessarily the deficit that we're seeing yeah. out of Slopidopolis, but the lack of pressure Slopidopolis well, is applied. Let's look at the damage charts. I mean, Slopidopolis goes down again. 
This Victor really not getting much value, barely above Anara, below Fernando, and that's the main thing that has to change. If X Gaming can get their Victor online, I mean, they're going to steamroll here, I think. They're hanging on 4v5, essentially. And that's difficult to do. Barrage should be a big changer, but again, I don't know if you want to use an ult right here, especially wow. if Walsh Mania can find a shot like that. They actually zone out Fluxy. That's awkward. Just kind of ran off to the side. I don't know what he was pursuing, but the well, I mean, was somewhere it, else. It's not really his fault, right? They were in their positions they were supposed to be, and then Walsh Mania just killed Anara, who was supposed to be on sure. the objective, and I think Fluxy just doesn't <laughs> really respond in time. There wasn't really much responding to be done at all. Slopadopolis, if he steps it up, I think this game becomes a lot easier for Vex Gaming. They have every ultimate available, and Point with that in mind, who are you liking in this fight? Honestly, going into this round, I feel like, especially having Barrage, I think that's a very easy way to ease yourself back into Victor. And coming into this map, or this round, I think Vex have just the advantage overall in ults. Unless something ridiculous, like a perfect flashbang that hits four members and just stops it, or you get the best seismic crash, there's just too much utility on the side of Vex that will keep control of Zimmer frame and kind of keep them locked down as long as they use it appropriately. Ooh. Or something like that can happen. Another disengage kill, man. You got to be careful on these. I don't know how many times it has to happen. The flare comes out. Ancient Rage trying to chunk his way through Grover, an immortal that is just way too late. And that's going to open the door for Makoto to get way more value. The Barrage comes out as well. Picks up Inara. Cassie's going to try and bring this fight back for her squad. The anchor misses. But the shots are landing from both Furia and Kinesis Carbine. It ain't pretty, but they get it done. A couple of shots. Bomb King going in. King Bomb coming out. Dies with his explosion, so doesn't find really anything off of that. It looks cool, but you don't really find any effort, any bonus for your team. And now Flashman going to be coming through. Going to cause a little bit of trouble. Heal's gonna, still going to be there. And Whirlwind coming out to make sure that Zimmerframe are still in this. Absolutely. Big heal comes through from Furia. Nara hooks off the objective. 96% to 30. The wall goes up, but Slopidopolis brings Nara right back down. The front line here looking a little bit disjointed. Just a little bit out of follow-up range. The pressure's just not there. The next barrage comes through as well. One of those shells will connect with Grover. Welsh Mania. He picks himself up a double kill world and it tries to get to the back line. Stop the to put in the work, but it's not That's even cool. necessary as Vex Gaming grabbed the second objective of the game. And now it seems like they're in control, but I think the best way to describe what's coming out of Vex, and from Zimmerframe to an extent, but mainly Vex, it feels a little sloppy in comparison. Like, I feel like they're getting very aggressive or overzealous. They're jumping into fights that they don't need to, or they're using ults. I mean, King Bomb's the one that's really flashing back in my mind, where it's just... You jumped in to three people, you popped your King Bomb in the middle of the three people, so you took all of that channel time's worth of damage, and then once your ult goes through, you stunned them for like a second, and now they're right back at it, pretty much full health. And I'm just curious, if they were, I mean, playing as close knit as they were last game, even, oh. would it be making that big difference? That's a great dredge anchor there, and I actually like this rotation here from Welsh Mania. He's gonna get aggressive with the in flame. He's got his ultimate available as well. Welsh Mania right now is going in on Kinesa. Hits the headshot, but it's not fully charged. So it won't slay Cassie outright, but goodness gracious, 14 streak for Welsh Mania after playing around 4v5. I mean, he is the one that is stepping up today for Vex Gaming. The backpack can be big right now. Welsh Mania is feeling comfortable. I mean, last Zen game was very good as well, but this has been a different performance. And again, just holding these angles in a safe spot. That stealth is going to be the big difference, but it doesn't matter. Headhunter comes down. He just wants to get rid of this Inara. I think he batten, batten down the hatches there a little bit. Sivs was laying into him from the side, but he wanted to accomplish his goal before going back. Slopidopoulos chipped away. And, I mean, goodness gracious, she's got 400 health, guys. And she's been the biggest thorn in your side. She's killed three, four of you. Jeez. I think, wake up a little bit on that. That's a, that's a wake up moment. That's, that's the Gaming. giant red flag. I think flag. that's a really easy adjustment for Vex Gaming next time around. I'll put it that way. 43 seconds left. And now the big question is. Out in the open, by herself, 400 HP, yeah. working on her fourth kill so far in this fight. At what point do you, is enough enough? <laughs> Probably the first kill. Usually that's when you start looking towards the Cassie. This is not an area you stack up in front of a Fernando. That fireball gets so much damage out. And you're still going to be able to get some healing off. It looks like the team's going to recuperate, but they're just doing it again. He's going to be able to come through and chunk you down to half health. You have to be incredibly careful approaching that. Finally getting rid of Fluxy. That's going to open this up a lot. Ooh, hello Strix World edit. And Makoa connect the shot at the exact same time just to burst Strix down. The hook's good on a Grover as well. 
He throws out a couple two, of axes. One more one. heal, but the payload is just coming in hot. Overtime Enemy starts here. Spray. Payload's getting really, really close. Dredge Anchor's big here. Fernando Shield's going to go up. You knew that was going to happen. Got to get behind him to hook out that shield. But no one can be there in time to stabilize. Vex Gaming bounce back with a nice little cap and conversion of their own. 9, 3, and 11, 12, 7, and 7. I think Welsh Mania World Edit are having phenomenal games. Although Yui, also 6, 3, and 8. Yeah. So being able to pick up a lot of kills on the side of Vex and kind of spreading the love throughout all of them. And Zlopidopoulos notably having a much better round. I think he was 2 and 3 coming into the beginning of that round, now 6 and 6. So his damage has jumped up. Spawn, Still not going to be the top, seconds. but at this point you're looking at the hard contenders. Two snipers yeah. and a bomb king. So setting number 4 is not the worst case scenario for you. It definitely seems as though they've started to clean it up a little bit. He did about twice as Five, much damage, I think, in the four, second round as he did three, in the first. Healing, a little one. bit in favor of Grover. That's impressive. Proper positioning. Rejuve's picked up by his front lines as well. I think that's really what's going to lead into it. As well as Inara always will sponge and pad the stats, so to speak, yeah. of the uh, of the healer who teams she on. Here comes the Ancient Rage as well. Swinging for the fences here, but you really need to apply the cauterize, and he does. Gormizer, it's three for nothing. It's looking like it could be four for nothing here. Sibs, always the guy to pull the rabbit out of the hat, but this time his bag of tricks has run dry. It's three to one here for Vex Gaming. They win the fight. They're on the objective. They're looking to make this a four for one victory and close this set. Everyone except Bomb King on some burning streaks as they come Don't through. Don't oh, going to be available. She in just flame. Reggie bushed him. She just jumped over this man and went to the objective. I don't care if nothing comes of it, Gore, but that was sick. That was so <laughs> dirty. That lit that needs to be that's a top that's a top play. Clip that right now. I wanna talk about that on Esports <laughs> Weekly next time. That in fact actually make that just the And top. we need to we need to rip the sports center audio from when Reggie Bush jumped over that guy and, and scored the touchdown. <laughs> and that's just what we need to play over the top of it. That was so funny, dude. And you said you don't care if nothing comes out of it. They get up to 78%. Like, they're holding the point now. They've taken control. And Flame going to be popped. World Edit goes down. That? Again, he's jumped in. What and that is that? the second in Flame I've seen where World Edit goes in and dies. What? what? Gore, what was that meant to accomplish there? Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know how I feel about that one. Lexi, wings of wrathing around, trying to stay alive. But Zimmer frame off the back of Reggie Bush. AKA Hamish. Escort. They the bring payload. it back. Zimmer frame. God bless him. What a beast. <laughs> we uh we've talked about in the last couple weeks how difficult it is to <laughs> lose a team fight when you have a Furia in flame. Wow. That was a pretty much textbook way. If you want to lose a team well, they fight with they didn't Furia. hit anyone. <laughs> I mean there's a bomb king on the objective by himself one v4. In flame is not and if he had just It doesn't make you a more if he had just held that, I think I think Vex just panicked a little bit there. Yeah. If they, if Bomb King stayed alive, Victor was there, Makoa came back eventually to that fight, if they could have inflamed those three targets, maybe there's a chance, right? We've seen crazier things, like an Inara. Like Inara jumping over Makoa. It looked like, what's that, barrel racing, where the horse just, like, jumps over the... <laughs> jumps over the little uh, obstacles? I mean, that was... That was something. I feel bad that I can't give credit to whoever it was because I can't remember what it was, but it was a Frog Isle game. It was a console game where someone, I think a Makoa, hooks a Nara off the edge and they throw the wall underneath yeah, him at the same time and they just push him right back on. And it's one of those things that Nara console players are nothing to mess around with. They know <laughs> what they're doing. That's too funny, man. <laughs> World at it. Nice out there. Fireball and Hamish Stone Spear connect with you. How are we saying this guy's name? You, Yui? Yui. It's not a good name. Huey. If we have to guess, it's not a good name. Dewey and Louie. And Dewey also Yui. And Louie. Slopadopoulos. He's going to step up for his squad when they need it most, really. There's no defensive point on the board here, but you want to stay out in front if you can. Vex Gaming, I think, would play a lot better because they'd be a lot more comfortable if they could go into this next round at 3-3. Or 3-2, excuse me, as opposed to 3-3. Three, three. It'd give you that error area where you wouldn't have to worry about the errors you make, any mistake. If you jump in and try to fight four people at once, although I'd recommend probably stop that just in general. Because that's the second or third time that I've seen this Bomb King isolated between three or four members of Zimmer Frame. Like, you just can't afford that unless you are rolling in with the King Bomb. Like, you should already be in your ult by the time you're surrounded by the three. 
as oh, opposed yeah. to trying to hope for Nine, it. Agreed. Yeah. Eight, seven, and, I mean, he could have played that angle. Six, it's, yeah. Just, yeah, it's just a quick poppy four, bomb, and then three, if you have confidence two, in your poppy bomb and trajectory, that's when you can uh, sort of preemptively pop that. Vex Gaming, another solid defense. They will go into next round with the 3 2 lead. And I think as a result, there is still that half comeback mechanic. So. Yeah. Every other tick is going to be worth 4% as opposed to every tick is worth 4% with the full comeback mechanic. Without any type of comeback mechanic, every tick is simply worth 3%. Still a lot of damage. and You can see the numbers starting to actually truly Point separate as to where seconds. people are going to be. Makoa about 8K behind the victor, and then everyone 80 to above. Almost 100K here for Washmania, but... It just hasn't been enough. I mean, you can do all the damage in the world, but if you're having plays like that where you you know just lose people One. systematically, it's not going to make the big difference. This time around, I hope to see them change just a little bit. Even if you're getting good shots, make sure you can convert them to kills. Small little heal. Cauterized 3 is in play, so Yui not grabbing a lot of healing coming through here. Nice bombs across the way. Grover actually has to position himself pretty aggressively to get some damage out of. Cauterize is applied here. Grover Orwin's not going to do much immortal. Stay on the tree. Stay on the tree. Stay on the tree. Time this right. Goes around. Beautiful timing from World that He plays that King Bomb perfectly. That has made up for literally the rest of the game. I don't care about the other times you well had between done, three. That one was perfect. You timed it right. You come through, set himself up for a choice double kill, and now it's just a zoning game. Well as long as the Vex can hold on to this, they don't have too much to worry about. But keep your eyes on Inara. She has been known to slip through. Oh, no! Not again! Not like, okay, <laughs> she gets dismounted. <laughs> World Edit, they got the deep safety coming in this time around. They do not want Hamish to make it here again. By the sheer strength of his back, he will because he's Inara stunned out. It's going to be a lot of free damage coming through. Getting beat up. Ancient Rage is still ready. That has to be the anchor. And a big heal core. Uncauterized. A massive Fury heal makes it through. Yui's going to swing for the fences. He takes down one. He heads for the next one. He's ripping them all apart. He's dicing them up, slicing them up with the anchor. And the boys in the back. They've got plenty of room to attack here, and it's a five for nothing sweep. Vex Gaming, what a beautiful crescendo to put the set away. And again, uh, like opposite of the beginning of that game. Like the beginning of that Loved game, it. they're stumbling all over themselves. It looks like they don't know what's going on. Even in round two, it's kind of like, all right, guys, like where are you from last game? Like Vex Game yeah. 1 and Vex Game 2 at the beginning were completely different. And they showed up for the final round. That's the team that makes it to land every time. That last two team fights there, that is Vex Gaming. That's the boys that we know and love to see. Let's take one look, though, at Yui. He, he, you know, he's, he's, the, he's, the, uh, he's the defensive lineman here. He's the left tackle that just lets, <laughs> lets Inara get through there, and he just has to watch as she goes over his head right to the objective. My goodness, that was so funny. What oh, I like God. is like the reflex, and I, I would have done the exact same thing in this he scenario. Just, like, like, you want to look oh, up. Oh, where you going? No! <laughs> Oh man, it's a beautiful play. I'm glad that it, I'm glad that that actually led to a point capture, yeah. right? Because now you know I don't care if it doesn't lead to anything. I was all like, it actually did lead to something. We got to see another round because of that play. I mean, it was what I think two, three missed shots and a missed hook, and then then using a mechanic yeah. again. It's not like well spoken, but just up against the wall. Even on your mount, you jump a little higher. You can just ride right over the mechanic. The, be the best is with like the slow controller turn too, because like once it happens, he's like, oh no, no, all right, coming back. Here we go. Here we go now. Oh, man, but I, I mean, that King Bomb there at the end, that was incredible. There was so many good moments there across the board for Vex in those last two team fights. And it was, a, like you had said, the timing. Like, just, I'm going to ult. He I'm going to make sure tree, I'm right here in the right? tree. No one has line aside of me. And then I'm rolling into it. Okay, Immortal's going. Immortal's going. Now I can go out. Yep. It's going to end right as I turn the corner, and then everyone's grabbed. It was just perfect. Well, guys, that's going to do it for our second set of the day. We've got six more best of threes to get through here in the Paladins console. Lee, we're going to go to a quick break, but we'll be right back with more.